The distance between Skelden and New Amsterdam is approximately 90 kilometers or 56 miles. Even by ambulance with sirens blaring, that's a long journey if a critically ill patient is involved, and therefore at times the outcome can be tragic. This is a story Imran Amin, the mayor of Kerivita, knows personally. I lost my mother on that same aspect. When she left Skelton Hospital, before she reached New Amsterdam Hospital, she passes in the ambulance. She was pronounced dead on arrival. That's why for the Kerivitan mayor, this project in his town, a new regional hospital at number 75, is so important. A hospital of this nature that the government took the initiative of to bring on board will eradicate all these uh, difficulties and allow persons to have first-class treatment right here in Corriveton. And that is something I, as the mayor, compliment, and I'm speaking on behalf of the people of this town. They all compliment that, because interacting with persons, we understand what benefit we are having out of this. Once completed, this state-of-the-art facility promises to bring advanced medical care to over 50,000 residents in Region 6. We spoke with Dr. Vishalya Sharma, the regional health officer. She emphasized the need for an alternative to speeding patients from Skeldon to New Amsterdam. One of the things about healthcare delivery, it has to be timely. And that delay of about sometimes 30 minutes it can take for the ambulance to get here can make a significant impact in the outcome of the patient and the prognosis. It leads, even leads to death. Correct. Mm -hmm. So having that facility there with life-saving critical services, like for example the operating theatre, we know we can take a patient say with an MVA directly to the main operating theatre rather than stabilise and transfer. That time means that we can significantly improve the outcome of that patient. On a daily basis, Skelton Hospital sees about 200 persons. So that new hospital would be the change we need in the region. It will revolutionize, change the landscape of the healthcare we deliver. The new hospital at number 75 has been designed to offer services such as emergency care, maternal health and specialist consultations and surgeries. As you're aware by now, that facility comes with three operating theatre. And presently we have none in that part of the region. Most of our cases are referred to the New Amsterdam. On an average, we see about, about 30 refer monthly from Skellin facility. That could possibly be 10 with the new facility coming on board in due time. So having said all of that, it would drastically improve how we deliver care across the region. It would provide care services like CT, which is presently not available. Speaking of CT services, we spoke with Ibn Zhao of the contracting firm China Kamsi Engineering, which is building the hospital for Sina Farm International, with whom the government of Guyana is working with on the hospital at number 75 and five other regional hospitals. This new machine will take a short dose and take a good quality with our pictures for our patients. And is AI based. You can take uh, more details and let the doctor know what's happening on uh, his body. You can, can scan the whole part of your body. With completion scheduled for the end of the year and early operationalization next year, the number 75 hospital to replace the old Skeldon Hospital stands as a beacon of hope, promising to bridge healthcare gaps and provide timely, accessible care to those who need it most. Reporting for the newsroom, Neil Marks.